Rick Caruso had a lot to say about those guns. He was here in Boyle Heights at La Parrilla Mexican Restaurant. He's here working on that Latino vote, a very important vote to get. Well, before he went inside the restaurant, this is what he had to say. It's scary, though, that we have two more guns on the street. We don't need two more guns on the street. For the first time, mayoral candidate Rick Caruso is talking about the stolen guns. Firearms that were stolen last Friday from the home of his opponent, Karen Bass. She should answer the question, did she have them adequately protected pursuant to the law? While Bass declined an on-camera interview, she did issue a statement that says in part, I came home and discovered that my house had been broken into and burglarized. LAPD was called and I appreciate their assistance. At this time, it appears that only two firearms, despite being safely and securely stored, were stolen. I don't think it was random. Retired LAPD Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey says the burglary may have been committed to send Bass a message. This wasn't so much about breaking into a home as it was maybe sending a message. Um, I think that the fact that the suspects were very specific in the types of items that they took, only weapons, leaving behind other valuables, uh, may be a, a subtle message that they're trying to send to Ms. Bass. During a mayoral debate at USC in the spring, Alex Michelson asked Bass this question. Congresswoman, do you feel safe walking in? Los I do Angeles? feel safe. I would say a 10. I feel safe. It just showed you that she's not connected with the reality in Los Angeles. She's been in Washington for 11 years. And for her to stand up and say, I feel 10 out of 10 safe, I've never heard that in the months that I've been around the city. Nobody is telling me I'm 10 out of 10. Do you own guns as well? No, I do not own guns. A lot of people are questioning, why does she own two guns? Political reporter John Rigardi says while the polls show Bass with a substantial lead, any type of information like knowledge that Bass owns guns could affect the race. Anything can happen, and right now, both candidates need to plant seeds of doubt about the other candidate. And that's what we're going to continue to see a lot of, and that's why we're going to see such a slugfest. They have to undermine each other in the final two months of the race. And right there, that is a photo of the suspect in the case of the stolen guns. He is believed to be Hispanic, about 5 feet 9, approximately 200 pounds. If you recognize this man, contact the LAPD. Now, regarding the mayor's race, as you know, it is heating up. The next debate is scheduled for next week, next Wednesday at 6 p.m., and it will air on Fox 11 News. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio.